Hi there and welcome to Loopy Mabel Crochet. My name is Jane and here on my crochet channel today it's a tutorial on how to do my Summerdale shawl. This is what we're going to be making in today's tutorial so if you fancy crocheting along with me today then please stay tuned. To do this Summerdale shawl we are going to be needing a 5mm hook, some scissors, some stitch markers, some needles for sewing in your ends because you will have quite a few ends and what I've done is I've listed my shades that I'm going to use and the shawl takes five shades and it's Aran weight wool so I have chosen my five shades now obviously it's a great stash buster so you can just use any shades that you've got maybe that you've got leftover yarns and you need to maybe select the shades you're going to use and do what I've done and list them all down because in the tutorial I'm going to refer to the shades as colour A, B, C, D and E so if you want to list yours down and mark them A, B, C, D and E and whenever I say let's change colour to shade B you then choose your shade that goes with B and shade A is the main shade and you need approximately 350 grams of shade A, 150 grams of your chosen shade B, 100 grams of C and 100 grams of D and approximately 50 grams of your chosen shade E. So let's begin. Now this tutorial is in UK terms so if you're watching from the US you just need to be aware of that so when I say treble it would be double crochet, when I say double crochet it would be single crochet, just simple as that. The stitches are all the same it's just that we have different terms of describing our stitches. So let's begin, so we're going to start off with our main shade A, so select your main shade A and we're going to start off with a magic circle so if you know how to do the magic circle if not I do have a tutorial if you need to refer to it so I'm just going to do my magic circle and I'm now ready to start so I'm going to chain three so one two and three and that's going to count as our first treble and then we're going to yarn over and into that magic circle we're going to do four more trebles so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and again and again and one more time so we've got five trebles in total So we've got our chain three which classes our first treble and then we've got one, two, three, four, four trebles. So we've got five trebles all together. Now we're going to chain two, one and two and back down into that magic circle we're going to do another five trebles. So yarn over, set your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two and do that for five times. And one more and there we go and what you need to do is just tighten your yarn to pull that closed and there is your beginning of your shawl so this is we're working this is going to be the top of the shawl and then we're going to be working down to form the point like so and we're going to stick with the main shade A for six rows in total so stick with your shade that you've chosen and at the beginning of every row we're always going to chain one and it does not count as a stitch that chain one the beginning of every row so let's chain one and turn our work we're always going to turn our work and we're going to go down into that very first stitch so 
yarn over, do a treble. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to put our stitch marker in. So if you're new to crochet, use your stitch markers and you'll never lose where your row ends or begins. And down into that same stitch, back down into there, we're going to do another treble. So we're always going to do two trebles at the beginning of every row. Always two trebles. And then we're just going to go down into the next and work our treble. And we're going to do this all the way along, inserting your hook down into the next stitch and work a treble. Now, if you're not sure which where you're going to insert your hook, because it all looks a little bit daunting and you're not quite sure, turn your work so it faces you. And I'll just take my hook out. And you can see there are like V shapes. That is your stitch, so you insert your hook through both parts of that V shape. And again, you would insert your hook through both parts of the V shape. So if you're wondering where to insert your hook and you're looking at it from this way on, you think, well, where do I insert my hook? It's going to go through the top, through the V. So just a little tip there for you. And another tip as well, you know sometimes you take your hook out of your yarn or it drops out and then you put it back in and you don't know which is the right way. When you put you um, when you pull your yarn, the front part of your loop, so the front part should always be on so when you pull the yarn, it should always be at the top. So if I turn it around and put it on the wrong way and I'm gonna pull my yarn to tighten, you can see the yarn's gone at the back, so that means it's the wrong way around. So just take your hook out. Put it back in the other way, pull your yarn slightly, and if the yarn is pulling from the front, you know that's on the right way. Another little tip. So let's continue down into the next stitch and work our treble. And down into that last one, work our treble. So now we've come to our two chain space, and this is going to form the point the point of our shawl at the bottom. So always when you come to this space, always throughout the tutorial, we're gonna do two trebles, chain two, two trebles into that space. Always throughout the tutorial. So yarn over, insert your hook into that space, work two trebles, chain two, then back down into the same space, work two trebles. And then we're going to work all the way back along our shawl. So we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch. And if you just, again, just turn your work to the side. And remember we had five trebles when we started. So you should have five stitches to look at. So there's your first V. One, two, three, four, and our last one on the end. So we know we've got five to work in and we're going to insert our hook into that first one. So insert your hook and work your treble and work all the way along. And every row we are increasing each side by three stitches. Every row. And the last one was our chain, so just find the third chain, count up one, two, three to your top chain, and just insert your hook into that top third chain and work your treble and into the same stitch. We're always going to mirror what we did on this side, always. So whatever you do down that side, when you're coming back up the other side, you just mirror. So we did, if you remember, we did two trebles at the beginning. So we're always going to do the two trebles on this side. So back down into that same stitch and two trebles. So what we're doing is every row is we're always going to do the two trebles. That's when we have the treble rows. Some of the rows we have a cluster row, so then we wouldn't do it then. Uh, but I'll explain that when we come to that row. But for every treble row, you're always going to do your two trebles at the first. And when you come along, you're always going to do your two trebles, your chain two, your two trebles into that 
corner point and then when you come back up the other side you do your two trebles in the last stitch so you always mirror what you did that side on that side so if you did two here you will finish off with two here so that's how to keep your shawl nice and even and we're increasing by like I say three stitches every side because we did increase one stitch there and then we added two stitches there so that was total of three stitches increased and obviously it'd be the same at the next side right so we're going to continue on so that was row two so we're going to chain one always chain one and turn and the chain one does not count as a stitch and we're going to work two trebles into our first stitch so I'll do the first do the first one insert our stitch marker and then we'll go back down and do the second one and then we're going to go down every stitch working our treble down into the last one and then into our space two trebles chain two two trebles chain two two trebles And then we're going to work all the way back up with our trebles again. And we've got our stitch marker in just to show us where our last stitch is. So we're going to work two trebles into that last stitch. So if you just want to remove your stitch marker. We know we're going to insert our hook in two there and work two trebles into that same space so that's row three and you should have 11 stitches down your side of your shawl 11 stitches so when i say you should have 11 stitches that's not in total i'm just going to refer to the side and obviously if you have 11 stitches down one side you must have your 11 stitches down the other side so I'm not going to say you should have 22 stitches I'm just going to say that's 11 stitches for this row as always you can pause the video anytime and do what you need to do and then catch up so there's no worries there so let's move on to row four so chain one again and turn and then work two trebles down into that first stitch so there's one Insert our stitch marker. And then we do our second one. And we're just going to work all the way along, working our trebles. We're going to do two treble, chain two, two treble. And then we're going to work all the way along, working our trebles, finishing with two trebles at the end. And that will be row four. And then we're going to repeat this again to row six. So if I leave you to do another three rows exactly the same as this, and I shall see you towards the end of row six. Okay, so I'm at the end of row six and I don't want to complete that last treble because I need to change my yarn colours. Now, obviously, if you're doing this tutorial, you don't have to uh, follow in five different shades. You can do it in completely one shade and if you're going to do that option then obviously you don't you don't need to change yarns at all uh, but obviously for this tutorial I'm doing it in the five shades so we're now going to move on to shade B so whatever color your shade B is we're going to change to that color so to change yarns you do part of your treble but you don't completely yarn over and pull through the final two you then leave it there and you bring your new shade in so just bring your new shade in and that's how simple it is to change yarns and then you just need to cut the yarn that you just finished with tie it into a knot And we're ready to go on with our next shade so shade b we're working on and we're going to do a row of 
trebles again and row we're now working on row seven and we should have 20 stitches down our side from row six so chain one and turn and then we're going to go down into our first stitch and work our first treble insert your stitch marker and then down into that same stitch work another treble and then we're just going to work trebles all the way along And when we get to our point as usual we do two trebles chain two two trebles and then we we'll work our trebles all the way along so if i leave you to continue working with your shade b i shall see you somewhere around about here and we're going to change yarns again and we're going to work on a, a cluster row so i shall see you somewhere towards the end of row seven i'm just at the end of row seven and i just need to do my last two trebles in my last stitch and as you can see i've got my stitch marker so I'm just going to take that out. I'm just going to show you if you didn't have your stitch marker in and you were new to crochet, you could quite easily miss that. Quite easy. So that's why I do recommend you put your stitch markers in because we now know there is a stitch there on the end that needs to be worked into. So let's do our two trebles, but we're not going to complete the last one because we're going to change colours. So let's just do part of the treble and we're going to take our next shade, shade C. So I'm just going to trim this yarn and I'm going to take my shade C and I'm just going to bring that yarn through like so. And again, I'm just going to tie off our yarn. Okay, so we've changed our yarn and we're going to work on our cluster row. And our cluster row obviously is going to be different to our treble rows. So we're going to chain one as usual and we're going to turn and we're going to work down into our first stitch as usual. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and leave it there. And we're going to do that four times. We're going to work four incomplete trebles. So yarn over, back down into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two leave it there and again and one more time back down to that stitch yarn over pull through yarn over just pull through the two you should have five loops on your hook five loops on your hook and then once you've got the five loops on your hook yarn over pull through all five and then chain one and then we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to repeat that down into the next. So yarn over, skip the next, down into the next and work your four incomplete trebles. So you've got five loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all five, chain one, skip one, down into the next. We'll do that one more time. Four incomplete trebles, down into that same stitch. So we've got five loops on your hook. So when you've got the five loops on your hook, that's when you need to yarn over, pull through them all, and then chain one. And then we're gonna skip one and do the same. So if I leave you just to work along this row, so we're gonna skip one, do your four incomplete treble cluster, chain one, skip one, cluster, chain one, skip one, cluster, chain one, all the way, all the way, away, all the way. And I shall see you somewhere towards the point of the shawl and I'll show you how we're going to go around that point down the next side. So I leave you, pause the video and I shall see you somewhere around about here. Okay, so we've come towards the point of the shawl and I've just done my cluster, I've done my chain one, I'm going to skip one and I've got one last treble to work into, so we're just going to work our last cluster. So we skip one and work into that last treble and do our four incomplete trebles. Four 
five loops on our hook, pull through, chain one, always do the chain one. And then we're now here at the point of the shawl and as usual we're going to do two trebles. Always two trebles, chain two at the point of your shawl, no matter what row you're on. like so and we're just going to repeat mirror everything we've just done always always repeat what you've done on the first side when you come to do the second side so if you remember we did our treble cluster and then we chained one so we're going to repeat the same so we're going to chain one and then we're going to go down into that first treble and work our four incomplete trebles And then yarn over, pull through, chain one, skip one, work your four incomplete trebles down into the next. So just repeat what we did up the other side. Yarn over, pull through all five, chain one, skip one, down into the next. So if I leave you to work all the way along this row, we're on row eight, and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row eight. Pause the video, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm just at the end of row eight. And as you can see, I've got the two trebles at the end. I've got one there and one where my stitch marker is. And I've just done my cluster. I've done my chain one. So I would skip the next and work into the last. So insert my hook where that stitch marker is. Take the stitch marker out, easier. And work my last incomplete treble cluster into that last stitch. One. Two. Three. So we've got our five loops on our hook and we're going to stop there because we're going to change our yarn. So I'm just going to trim that yarn. And we're going to go on to shade D. So whichever your shade D is. So bring in your shade and we're just going to pull it through all five of those loops. And I'm just going to tie them both off again. Oh, how cute is that? Toe beans. So we're going to be working on to row nine now and we should have 26 stitches along our side. So let's do our chain one and turn. And then we're just going to go down. Now what we're going to do because it's a cluster row, we're just going to go down into the top of our cluster. So like you normally would do, go down into your first stitch. Obviously your cluster is your first stitch. So you just need to find the top of your cluster and it's just that V as usual, hope you can see because it's a dark yarn, just the V, so just insert your hook into that V. So yarn over, insert your hook, and work one treble, insert your stitch marker, and yarn over back down to the same stitch and work your second treble. And we're going to be working into the space as well, so down into that space, work your next treble and then into the top of your cluster, work your next treble. So you're picking up all the stitches again, either at the top of the cluster or in the space. So just treble all the way along. working into the top of the cluster or into the space between. And if I just leave you to work all the way along, working your trebles as usual, into the top of the cluster or in the space between. So if you continue all the way along, I shall see you somewhere towards the end of this side and I'll show you how to go around the corner on this row. So pause the video and I shall see you somewhere around about here. Okay, so I've just got to the last part and I've just worked into the top of the cluster. I'm now going to work into that space. 
and then I'm going to work it into the two trebles which brings me to our shawl point and as usual two trebles chain two two trebles I just wanted to show you that you need to go into that space after that last cluster so let's work around the other side so we're picking up the two trebles so one and two and then we're going to go down into that space the first space between the clusters so, so don't miss out that space that's why I wanted to show you that so working into that space with your treble and then the top of your cluster and as we did down the other side in between the cluster and into the top of the cluster so if you want to pause the video work all the way along with your trebles and I shall see you somewhere towards the end and we'll go from there and we're going to change yarn again so I shall see you somewhere around about here pause the video and I shall see you somewhere around about here okay so I've got towards the end of this row so I'm just going to work in that space and then we're going to work in to the top of our cluster so you just turn your cluster to the side and you should be able to see that V shape so we're just going to work our two trebles in to that V shape and obviously if you use your stitch marker you would see it sorry I didn't put it in there but there is your V and we're just going to work our two trebles into that stitch and we're just going to finish halfway on our treble there because we're going to change yarns again so I'm just going to snip that yarn and we're going to be working back on our bobble row so we're going to bring in shade C again and we'll just tie off the ends like so and we're ready to do our cluster row again so we're just going to repeat what we did in row 8 our cluster row so let's chain 1 and turn and if you remember we go down into that first stitch and work our four incomplete trebles one two three and four yarn over pull through chain one and we're just going to repeat this all the way along so exactly the same as we did on the previous cluster row so if I leave you to complete this row and don't forget when you come to the tip of your shawl you need to tre two treble chain two two treble and then work all the way around doing your cluster chain one skip one cluster chain one skip one all the way to the end and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 10 and we'll change yarns and we'll go from there so pause the video okay so I've come to the end of my cluster row and I'm going to change yarn and I'm going to go to shade E so you need to cut your yarn and change to your shade E and you just need to bring it through so bring it through and then tie off your ends and before you continue on if you just want to double check how many stitches you've got for that row we've just done we've just done row 10 you should have 32 stitches down your side 32 so let's continue on so we're just going to chain one and turn and we're just going to work two trebles into our first stitch remember we're going through the top of that cluster and work your two trebles don't forget to insert your stitch marker into that first treble that you did and then we're going to work into the space and do a treble and we're just going to repeat this row again so working in either to the top of the cluster or down into the space working your trebles so if I leave you to continue along this row we are on row 11 and I just need you to continue all the way with your trebles through the top of the cluster stitch or working in the space between work all the way along and don't forget to work in between that space after your last cluster 
and then you work your two trebles, you do your two trebles, chain two, two trebles into your corner, and then you're just going to repeat everything you've done along here on this side. And I shall see you somewhere towards the end of that row, and that is row 11. We're working on row 11. Pause the video and I shall see you somewhere around about here. So I'm just coming to the end of row 11, and I'm just going to work into that last space there, and then I'm going to then I'm going to do my two trebles into my cluster from the row before. And I'm just going to stop right there before I finish off. And we're going to change yarns again. So I'm just going to cut that yarn. I'm going to bring back in shade C again. And we're going to work our row of cluster stitch. So if you want to bring in your shade C. And before we continue, if you just want to make sure you've got 35 stitches down the sides, so we've got the 35 stitches, so we're ready to move on to row 12. And as usual, chain one and turn, and we're just going to work the cluster stitch. So I'll just quickly remind you again. So yarn over into that first stitch, work four incomplete trebles, five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through, chain one, skip one, work your four incomplete trebles and we're going to do this all the way along four incomplete trebles chain one skip one four incomplete trebles chain one skip one all the way all the way along and then don't forget to do your chain one after you finish that cluster then you do your two trebles chain two two trebles come around the corner chain one and then work your cluster chain one skip one cluster chain one skip one all the way and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of this row. We are now on row 12. So pause the video and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 12. Okay, so I've just come to the end of this row. So I've just got to skip one. I've done my chain one. I'm going to skip one and I'm going to work into that last stitch where my stitch marker is. So just take that stitch marker out and work my last incomplete cluster. I'm going to change colour, so I'm just going to leave it there. Snip that yarn, and I'm going to bring in shade B. So I'm going to bring in back shade B, and again, tie off your ends. So we're ready to go on to row 13, and we're going to chain one and turn, and work our two trebles down into that first stitch. So picking up the top of that cluster, work one, Insert your stitch marker and then work a second treble into that same stitch and then work in into the space and working into the top of the cluster down into the space top of the cluster all the way along working your trebles either into the top of your cluster or down into the space and when you come to your last cluster don't forget to go down into that don't forget to go down into that last space then do your two trebles and then you come to the point of your shawl again so it's two trebles chain two two trebles and then don't forget to work your first treble into that space and then treble all the way along in either the cluster or into the space Work all the way along with your trebles, pause the video, and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of this row. We are now on row 13. Okay, so I'm just coming towards the end of row 13, and I've just worked into the last space, and I'm just going to work my two trebles in to the top of that last cluster stitch. One, and we're just going to leave it incomplete because we're going to, yet again, change yarn. So I'll just snip the yarn. And before we go on to row 14, you should have 41 stitches. So just, just double check you've got your 41 stitches. So I'm just coming to the end of row 13. And I'm just not going to complete that final treble because we're going to bring in our next shade. And I'm bringing in my next shade, which is the main shade, shade A. So I'm just going to bring that through. And again, tie off your ends. So we're now ready to move on to row 14 and you should have 41 stitches 
from your previous row so just double check you've got your 41 stitches and we're now going to go on to row 14 and it's chain one and turn and we're just going to do our two trebles into that first stitch insert your stitch marker and then down into that same stitch work another treble always two trebles at the beginning of any of the treble rows it's only the cluster row you don't do that so all the other rows it's always two trebles so work all the way along in shade A for row 14 and then when you get to the end of row 14 you're going to change shades and move on to shade D and work a row of trebles again and then at the end of row 15 we're going to change yarns again back to our main shade shade A and if you work all the way rows 14 15 and 16 changing your yarns so we're on row 14 with shade A go on to row 15 with shade D then go on to row 16 back on shade A and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 16 okay so I've completed those three rows so we've just done rows 14 15 and 16 and we're finished on shade A and we're now going to start on row 17 but before we start on row 17 just double check that you've got 50 stitches along your side 50 stitches so for row 17 we're going to bring in our next shade so I'm just going to cut this yarn and I'm going to bring in my next shade which is shade E so we're going to go back to shade E and bring that through and we're going to work row 17 and we're just going to chain one and turn and we're going to go down into that first stitch and work our treble insert our stitch marker and again work another treble back down into that same stitch and we're going to chain one we're going to skip one and we're going to treble into the next we're going to chain one skip one treble into the next chain one skip one treble into the next and we're just going to do this all the way along chain one skip one treble chain one skip one treble so if I leave you to continue exactly the same as me chain one skip one treble all the way along I shall see you somewhere towards the point of the shawl okay so I've come to the end and you should end with a chain one a skip one and we're going to go down into our chain space and work our two trebles chain two two trebles And as usual, we're just going to mirror what we did along the first side. So if you remember, we chained one and skipped one. So we're just going to do the same. Chain one, skip one, then you treble. Chain one, skip one, treble. And just work an all the way along. Chain one, skip one, treble. So if I leave you to work all the way along, pause the video, chain one, skip one, treble. And I shall see you somewhere towards the end of here and we're obviously going to change yarns again and I'll tell you what we're going to do at the end of this row so we're now on working on row 17 so I've just come to the end of row 17 I've just done my last I've just done a treble I've done my chain one I'm going to skip one and I'm going to work down into that last stitch and work my two trebles one exactly what we did at the beginning of the row but I'm just going to finish there because we're going to now change yarns so I'm just going to cut this yarn and I'm going to bring back in shade A so we're now ready to move on to row 18 and we're using shade A so let's chain one and turn and we're going to do our two trebles into our first stitch insert our stitch marker and again another treble into that same stitch and we're just going to work all the way along with our trebles so working into that next one 
and then work it into the chain space then working into the treble and down into that chain space and we're just going to repeat that all the way along so I shall see you somewhere towards this point and we'll go from there okay so I'm just at the end I'm just going to go into that two chain space so insert your hook and work your two trebles chain two and your two trebles and you should have 56 stitches along this side we're on row 18 so we're just going to continue all the way down as we did on the other side with our trebles so just complete row 18 with our shared A and then we're just going to repeat what we did for these four rows again. So we're just finishing off row 18 with shared A and then we're going to change for row 19 for shared D. Then we're going to move on to row 20 with shared A and then we're going to move on to row 21 with shared B. So I'm going to leave you to do those remaining four rows so we're now on row 18, we're going to finish off row 18 with shared A, we're going to go on to row 19 with shared D, row 20 with shared A, row 21 with shared B and I shall see you somewhere towards the end of row 21 working on shared B and at the end of that row we should have 65 stitches. So pause the video and I shall see you at the end of row 21. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of row 21 using shade B and we're now going to change colour, surprise, surprise, and we're going to bring in the main shade, shade A. So let's just transfer that over and before we continue on to the next row, just want to double check that for the end of this row that we've just done, which is row 21, you should have 65 stitches along your side. So if you just want to double check, you've got your 65 stitches before we go on. And if you're happy that you have, we're going to now chain one and turn. And as usual, we're going to go into our first stitch and work our treble. Insert your stitch marker. and insert your hook again and do one more treble and we're just going to work along this row with our shared A working our trebles and we're going to continue now for seven rows in total so seven rows of trebles using shared A and you should be finishing on row 28 pause the video work your seven rows of shared A I'll see you somewhere towards the end of row 28 and we should have 86 stitches at the end of row 28 and then we will go from there so I shall see you at the end of row 28 okay so I've just come to the end of row 28 and I've just used the last row of shade A and you should have 86 stitches on your row now. I haven't completed it because we're going to change yarns and we're going to add shade B. So we need to find shade B and we're going to do one row of shade B. So exactly the same again, chain one and turn and working into that first stitch, work your two trebles and two and then just work all the way along with trebles as we'd have done previous rows like so. So I'm going to leave you now to continue on with shade B for row 29. Right so if I leave you to continue working all the way along this row, row 29 with shade B and then from then on in we're just going to repeat our pattern so let me just show you further back up the shawl so we're just repeating this row shade B and we're just going to repeat all those rows again so just follow the rows that you've already got so after this row that you're doing 29 you're going to go on to your shade C then moving on to shade D back to C then back to E back to C then back to B so we're just going to repeat all those rows again so it's 15 rows in total so 
this is row 29. So work your 15 rows of pattern, just following exactly what we've already done on our shawl. So just gonna follow all the way, all these rows again, and it'll take you back to finishing on shade B, which will then take you to row 43. And at the end of row 43, I shall see you back there and hopefully we should all have 131 stitches. So if I leave you to continue again along this pattern and I shall see you at the end of row 43. Okay, so here we are at the end of our last row that I left you to complete at row 43 and you should have 131 stitches along your sides. And we're just going to have one more row to go and we're going to finish off back to our main shade A. So bring in your main shade A and bring it in. And tie it off as usual. So let's do our final row. So our final row is going to be row 44 and we're just going to chain one and turn using shade A and we're just going to do one final row of trebles all the way around. So two trebles in the first one and just simply work your way all the way around with shade A like so. When you get to the end of this row we're going to tie off our work and then we're going to sew in all our ends. So if I leave you to finish off this last row and then when you finish that row fasten off and then sew in all your ends and then we'll do our final row to neaten off this edge and then our show will be complete. So I'll see you when you've finished off this row and you've sewn in all your ends. So hopefully you've managed to do that last row of main shade, shade A, and then you've sewn in all your ends. So I've gone through all my ends and I've sewn them all in. It's the right side facing me. And I'm gonna pick up stitches all the way along. So I just need to insert my hook in the very first stitch and if you just turn it over you can see the V stitch of that last stitch so I'm going to insert my hook into that V stitch and I'm just going to bring in my main shade again and we're going to be working all the way along with double crochet or if you're watching from the US single crochet it's just a nice neat trim just to finish off the shoulder part of our shawl so let's go down into our first stitch back down into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And we're going to work two double crochets into every band of colour. So, and I'm working over my tail of my yarn there. So just insert your hook and double crochet. And again, into that same colour band with double crochet. All the way along, working two double crochets in every colour band. And it just, it's just giving it a lovely neat finishing edge and you just literally work all the way down making sure you do two double crochets or single crochets if you're watching from the US in every colour band so if I leave you to work two double crochet or single two single crochet if you're watching from the US in every row And it'll just give you that lovely neat edge and I shall see you somewhere towards the other end of our shawl and we will finish off and then we'll have completed our Summerdale shawl. Just coming to the last part of this top part of the shawl so I've got to my last row and I'm just going to finish off with two double crochets. That's it so I just need to trim my yarn pull it through and I just need to sew in that end and there we have finished our lovely Summerdale shawl. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, hope you enjoyed sewing in all those ends. Uh, it's worth it though I think by adding all these lovely colours it's worth having all the ends to sew in. Now this is hot off the tutorial so it just need blocking and if you're not sure how to block your crochet, I do have a tutorial. I'll put the link for that up there, how to block your crochet. And I've just literally put it on Mabel the mannequin just so you can see what it looks like. And I'll just turn it round so you can see the pretty pattern at the back. 
really pretty and obviously it all depends on the colours that you choose. You can follow along the exact same colours that I've used and I'll put the links for all the colours in the box below or you can just use any colours you like. And it's a great stash buster project too, that's hard to say. Um, so I've got my shawl pin, I'll just show you what it looks like when you add your shawl pin. Obviously I'm just doing this roughly and I love my shawl pin and I'll put the link if you wanted to get one um, in the box below. My links are affiliate links and I do receive a small commission if you do click it on any of those links but you don't. It doesn't cost you a penny more. There we go. So as I say it does need blocking um, but that's how it would look. One of the ways you can wear it or you could wear it as a scarf and tie it round and put the this part at the front and tie it round, you know, whichever way you want. But that's a Summerdale shawl and you can get the PDF pattern for it too and I'll put the link for that in the box below. And if you're wondering what I'm wearing today, I'm wearing the Rainbow Dreams uh, poncho and you can get the tutorial for this as well. So I'll put the link up there and as always, a full PDF pattern in my shop. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I really do love to hear what you think of my designs and if you make different colours, please let me know and share with everybody what colours you've chosen. And also, if you're on Instagram, please share your pictures and use the hashtag LoopyMabel and we can all share what we're all making. But until the next time, thank you so much for joining me today. Practice does make perfect, but until the next time, please take care and as always, happy crochet.